Hey strangers, I am back and I just wanted to comment on this hair treatment. It's like those Moroccan oil hair treatments. They're really good. You get it from shoppers or any drugstore and I think they have like a green green lid with like a coconut shape container. My friend got me to try it and it feel, like my hair feels so nice. So I think I'm going to buy the full size because I really, really do like it. But anywho, the video today is on a first impression and I'm really excited to do this because I finally found time to do so. So this is the No Bleeding Lips by I think it's No Cosmetics. So it says here that it's a colorless lip liner and it's waterproof, it's long lasting and it's really good for not creating any bleeding around your lips. So my first time unboxing it so let's see hmm. so it comes with some instructions let's see it just says outline your lips with no bleeding lips to stop your lip from coloring or feathering with a formula that's waterproof and long-lasting it's perfect complement for your lips so oh, okay so an important fact is that you just have to twist the pen and you can't twist too much because it doesn't wind back. So that's nice that they wrote that in there. And yeah, let's let's try it. So I'm actually pretty surprised that the packaging is black with purple writing. I was expecting for it to be white, like the box. So Ooh. So it looks like this. I'm just gonna wind a little bit and grab my mirror. And I got this from Sephora too. So let's try this out. Hmm. It kind of feels. Oh, sorry for the glare. It kind of feels a bit drying, to be honest with you. So, well, that's hilarious. You guys can see the glare. It's because my room, we don't have natural lighting. Like, our window is literally yay big, and just from there. So, yeah, this is really drying, guys. So, I, I actually recommend maybe using, like, a lip balm or something before applying this on. And if you feel like it's flattened out, because see, I use so much of it, just wind some back up. And I'll put some more on. Okay, it literally feels like I didn't even put anything on. But anywho, so what I'm going to wear today to test it out is not the... um. Sephora lip cream stains because I know those ones they don't really bleed out so I'm gonna mix two of my favorite colors this is max speed dial which is like my favorite lip color of all time it's so pretty I can show you the shade like so there's the shade right there I usually put this at the bottom this is like a cream sheen color I really like it and then I usually mix it with Too Faced's Melted Lip, in, and this is in Melted Fig. So let me just do a little swatch for you guys. It looks a lot alike, just one is a lot deeper. So that's Melted Fig, and that's Cream Sheen. Cream Sheen Speed Dial. And both of these products smell so good. This is the lip color I'm going to be rocking and then I'll get back to you guys tonight to see how it goes. But I don't know, I'm just kind of skeptical about this because I didn't feel like I put anything on. It was really, it was drying, not really moisturizing. So we'll see. Just finished work and let me just see how the lips held up. 
so I don't see any bleeding or anything like that and it kept the color pretty vibrant but not as vibrant as when I first started but overall how it rate this product is I kind of felt like I mean usually I don't really experience any bleeding with this lip color anyhow but I can see that it did kind of help the longevity of the color so I'd rate it maybe like a three <laughs> out of five like it's good but I mean I think I could go with well without it but the only good thing about this is that you know I felt like it really did keep the color stuck on my lips but other than that I think you guys can do well without but try it out yourself see how it goes but yes I'm so tired can't wait to just go sleep thanks again for watching my video and hope to see you guys in a later video Bye, strangers.